I'm about to show you how you can go from being a low paid video editor to a 20K a month content agency owner within the next four months. So in this video, you're gonna discover how to multiply your video editing skills, reframe yourself as a profitable content expert, and go from signing small deals to charging two to 5K a month, and sometimes more per month. So I know I said per month twice, but I wanna emphasize that because I know a lot of you guys are surviving off of one-off projects. So this is per client, okay? Before we get started, if you're not currently a working video editor or some sort of videographer, or creative in general, this isn't for you. I'm not teaching you how to get started with editing. I'm showing you how to grow and use your creative and editing skills and turn that into an actual business. So let's get right into it. So basically, who am I? I'm Eamon. My agency started out by offering to edit long form videos like podcasts and interviews into short form content for TikTok and Instagram. Once I implemented what I'm about to show you, I scaled my content agency from 2K per month to 15K per month in four months. Then I doubled down and scaled from 15K per month to 93.5K per month eight months later. So this is a screenshot in Canadian dollars showing how much money I made from January 1st all the way up until like mid-March, something like that. And this, when you divide it out, it's like 125K Canadian, which is about 93.5K US. And I got another screenshot here. This is showing January 1st to March 1st, how much I did. So if you're deep in the trenches doing long hours is sitting at your computer editing and clients are talking to you about doing pay per video and in general you're just not making enough money to justify the time you're spending on your business i'm going to show you how to take it to the next level here's what you need before you get started you're going to need your social media profiles to be extremely clean and professional with a clear profile picture and your exact offer spelled out if you have client testimonials or case studies make sure these are easily visible next up you're going to need a portfolio along with a website this can be the same thing that's what i do on top of reviews and case studies you need a solid portfolio of great work to to show people. If you don't have this, you simply can't scale. Next up, you're gonna need some sales sauce. So if you're an active video editor, this means you've probably closed some deals, but you need minimum viable sales sauce to be able to implement what I'm about to show you in this video. And then next up, you're gonna need the desire to stack skills on top because at the end of the day, if you're just a video editor, you're easily replaceable. You need to stack other things on top. So you're gonna need to know copywriting, organic marketing, slash personal branding, sales, operations, all that stuff. This is what you need in order to transition from a video editor into a content agency owner. So step one, you need to stop editing videos and start hiring editors. Editing is probably the lowest dollar per hour task you could be doing. If you want to make a lot more money, you need to use your video editing skills in a different way. This means using your eye for good video to hire editors to do the grunt work for you. If you haven't hired an editor yet, I'm guessing it's for one of these reasons. You don't think you have enough money to pay anyone for help. You don't realize how fast you could grow your business if you weren't spending all day long editing videos and you have no idea where to start when it comes to hiring in the first place. So how Hiring out the editing actually frees up your time so you can generate more revenue and build up your reputation with your future client base. Instead of spending all day editing videos, you're going to spend your time quality checking other people's work, so your video editors. You're going to be building systems and operating procedures to make every part of your business more efficient, and you're going to be doing marketing and lead gen to sign more whale clients who you'll now be able to take on because you have help from people doing the actual editing. Another thing I didn't include on screen is that you're going to be the one scripting and coming up with the ideas for the video. So this isn't mandatory, but if you can do this, you're going to be able to charge like an extra 50 to 75%, but more on that later. So if you want to take your video editing skills to the next level, you need to start managing editors instead of actually editing yourself. That's the obvious next level. Step two, attracting the right clients. So now that you're not spending all your time editing videos, you have plenty of time to focus on building your reputation. You can now direct your energy into positioning yourself as a content expert rather than someone who just edits videos. So you do this by building case studies based on the work you've completed, setting up your funnel and making sure your online presence is professional everywhere and also making videos of your own and posting them all over to demonstrate your expertise there's so many people selling video who haven't even made a single video of themselves for example the other day i had somebody reach out to me asking me about my program and they were like oh is it mandatory i get on youtube and they were selling a youtube service it's like bro if you're going to sell people on youtube but you're not doing youtube it's just not going to work right so you need to be building up your online authority so that when you start reaching out to clients they can instantly verify that you're not a scammer or a cheap beginner video editor. Step three, you need to start your sniper rifle outreach. I don't actually really like calling it that. I call it dream 100. So now that you've had time to focus in on your business and build your credibility, you can start putting together a lead list. The best way to build a lead list is dream 100 outreach. So you're going to do this manually. I use dream 100 to scale my biz and I still use it to this day. It works. So here's how you do it. Basically, number
number one is building a list of dream 100 prospects that you want to work with. These should be whale clients that you know will get great results. You're going to reach out to them one by one with a completed video for free to earn their trust and respect before you pitch your paid services. And next up, you're going to focus on curating your messages to be as personable and applicable to each client as possible, instantly boosting your reputation, right? Everybody else is doing mass outreach. We don't do that. We do highly personalized manual low volume outreach called dream 100. If you do great work and you've built out your social slash online presence with proof of your experience, you'll start booking sales calls almost right away. Remember, every prospect has a conversion window. They're not all going to close right away. The goal is to put yourself in the forefront of their mind as the video expert. If you reach out to 100 prospects and you do all your follow ups, one or two should close out of those 100. But many others will be ready to buy in a few weeks or a couple months. The typical conversion window I've noticed is three weeks on average. So step four, stack more complementary skills. So you don't have to stack all of these skills. You know, some of them are mandatory and some are optional, but here's the whole list. So number one, you're gonna need to learn sales. This is so like overplayed and over mentioned on Twitter and all these platforms, Instagram reels, but it's actually true. You need to know how to convert someone from an eyeball into a paying customer or else you're not gonna make any money. Imagine you take a hundred sales calls and you close nobody, that's literally your fault. Next up, we got copywriting. So you're gonna need to learn how to write scripts and this is gonna allow you to charge your clients 50 to 75% more. So one thing I want to say, this is one of the skills on this list that isn't mandatory. You're going to need to know copywriting just to market yourself. But like in terms of knowing copywriting to market your clients through script writing, you don't actually need to do that. You know, you could offer an editing only service. However, if you stack copywriting on top, it is much, much better because you're going to make more money. So next up, you're going to need to learn organic marketing. If you know what works on social media, you're going to generate better results for your clients, which is going to keep them longer. And business is all about reducing churn and increasing lifetime value. So imagine you get a client for 2k per month month, but they just leave after a month because they realize you don't know anything about marketing. You know, I would much rather sign someone for like 1k a month, but keep them for 12 months because now I just made 12k. You know what I mean? And if you keep someone that long, it means you're doing good work. But if somebody's leaving after a month, it means you're not doing good work. Next up, operations and management. So you're going to need to know how to manage your team, you know, your editors, your operations manager, copywriter, quality checker, plus your clients, and also build systems so that you run an actual business rather than a job. So unlike most people on YouTube and stuff aren't that honest. So in order to transition from being an employee to a business owner you know you can't just do that when you're at like 10k a month you won't even have enough cash flow for me it didn't even really hit till i was at like 60k a month then i really felt like okay i'm a business owner but you can take gradual steps right the reason why it takes so long is because it's going to take you time before you can actually afford to hire the positions that you need you know once you're at 10k a month 20 maybe that's when you're going to get your quality checker once you're at 40 50 maybe that's when you get the ops manager and then from there on you know you can stack more stuff on top but you're not going to be able to hire like a full team when you're at like 10 k month. But the main time consuming tasks, guys, that I want you to know you need to get off of your plate is editing. That is the worst thing you can do with your time. So if you follow this guide without getting impatient, you will transform your video editing skills into a high income content agency. And if you're looking for more guidance on exact systems and strategies for hiring reliable and quality editors, how to find leads, how to keep them organized, exactly what to say to them and what sort of free work to do, how to run sales calls with no fear and close clients on bigger retainers without using any weird salesy tactics, you want to know how to create a winning offer for your agency and figure out how much to charge. Also, how to build systems and refine operations so you aren't getting bogged down with operation stuff like client onboarding, editor onboarding, or any other process in your biz like project management, all that type of stuff. I'm teaching all of this stuff inside my new content agency accelerator, but if you want to join, that's in the description. However, I actually want you to go watch another video. So I talked about how I scaled from 2K a month to 93.5K a month in 14 months. That's going to be on the top right. It's also going to be on the screen right now. So just make sure to click that, watch, and then I talk about my program at the end. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Talk soon. Peace.